What's going on everyone? My name is Kennedy Gates and I'm here at the Bodybuilding HQ. Uh, today I'm going to take you guys through my back workout that I'm doing. So this is the kind of things that I do to, that helps me build, me, me build my heavy back. Okay, so during back days I tend to start off with some deadlifts and uh, some kneeling, reverse grip and incline bench rows, the pendulum rows and also some pull-ups to finish up my back workout. And uh, we've been here all week guys and it's been amazing and all, all, all the nine you know, competitors with me as well, so I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's been fun, and I'm excited to be here today. So, before I start, guys, um, my bag days, I start with a compound movement, so I feel like starting off with a deadlift is important to you, because deadlift is the foundation for all, all lifts. So, having a good lower back is better for you to engage your core in all your exercises. So, for, for deadlifts, before I start, I usually take my shoes off because, you know, some of our shoes, so because if you wear shoes, you might, you, might, you might be able to slip forward. So I take my shoes off. And also, when you, when you, when you come to deadlifts, you want to have your chin like an inch or an inch and a half to the bar. So you don't want to have your, the bar all the way touching your chin because that's going to make you pick up the weights like this. So you want to have the bar an inch or an inch and a half, you know, between your chin. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up with this deadlift and show you guys how to deadlift the right way because that's really important. So let's get to it. All right, so as you do three sets just to warm up, three reps to warm up, and uh, just so you guys know, I'm a, I'm a strong believer in uh, slow and controlled movement. So, because I believe when you work out slowly and the right way, you're never gonna get hurt. So, now I'm gonna put some weight on here and actually start my actual set. So guys, when I go heavy, I also make sure that I control the movement as well. So don't try to be an ego lifter and go heavy and just slam the weights. You kind of want to go heavy, but also control the movement. All right, Kennedy, you have a question from YouTube. They're wondering, can I wear chucks as shoes instead of going barefoot? Yeah, you can actually wear some chucks or some bands. So like, you know, for power, for, for power lifters, when you compete in the meet, you're supposed to wear shoes when you compete. So, yeah, you can wear chucks or vans, but you need, you need something flat, like a flat shoe that will help you, you know, that way you wouldn't arch forward. That's the main goal. You don't want to arch forward. Another question from YouTube. What's your favorite time of the day to train? Well, being honest with you guys, morning. I'm a morning person. If I was to train like around 10 a.m. in the morning, that's perfect for me. But if not, in the afternoon, around 2, that's also great. All right, guys, so I'm going to go on and sh get to the set right now. This is my first set. I'm doing four by threes. That's four sets of three reps. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so also when you come, when you come up, you want to squeeze the glutes, so that way you have a good contraction on your glutes. You don't want to put a lot of tension on your back. And that's why when you come up, don't arch back too much. Just come up and then squeeze the glutes really tight. Okay? Yeah. All right, Meg from Facebook is asking, what is your max deadlift? Well, Meg, my max deadlift is 650. I mean, if you want, I can do it today, but it's up to you guys. But my, my max is the 650 right now on deadlifts. Yeah. What's the difference between stiff leg deadlift and Romanian deadlift? Okay, the, different, the stiff leg deadlifts actually works more on your hamstrings. So when you're doing stiff leg deadlifts, you kind of want to just bend your knees just a little bit, just a little bit bent, and then keep your back straight and then come all the way down. So that works more on your hamstrings and glutes. So the Romanian deadlifts just works more of your, your lower back and, and your hamstrings, that's it. But for glute days, I would advise to do more of the stiff leg deadlifts. Then for back days, you could do Romanian deadlifts. I love conventional deadlifts. I love con conventional is my thing. So I do conventional deadlifts 
when I do when I do deadlifts. Um, you have another question from Facebook. Would you su suggest doing this on leg day or back day? Oh, me personally, deadlifts on back day. So leg days for me personally, it depends on what your goal is. If you want to grow, I would suggest separating your quads and your hamstrings together. So you can do deadlifts on the, your hamstring days, and then you know, and then quad days, just do squats. I would I would advise you to separate it because it's, it's you actually get a better contraction and you actually develop the muscle that you actually trying to work on. Awesome. What's your favorite pre-workout food? Pre-workout food, guys. I love cream of rice. I love cream of rice and, uh, and some rice cake and also some peanut butter. I love cream of rice. That gets me going. That's a, good, that's a good carb source for me. So, yeah. And also, don't forget the music. I love Travis Scott. So a little music on that, too, while I eat the food. Yeah, I'm, I'm lit. I'm ready. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so guys, I'm gonna take you guys to the second set. Let's go. All right. Yeah, it's feeling good today, it's feeling good. So that's the second set of the deadlifts and just so you guys know, you know, when it comes to deadlifts, just, just do the way that you can be able to do and slowly work your way up. Because me, the, the way I got to my PR is by adding five pounds on each side every, every week. That's, actually, that's how I actually got to where I am in lifting heavy and deadlifts. So just slowly be patient, you're gonna get there. Don't try to rush through it, yeah. Who's your biggest inspiration? <sighs> biggest inspiration right now, right now, right now, Julian Smith. Love Gina Smith. Love you, bro. If you're watching, or if you're, if you're gonna watch later on. So. <laughs> How many years have you been training? Um, well, I've been training um, basically my whole life because I played sports in college, high school, but I, I did baseball, football, but in college I had scholarship, ran track. But I started getting into lifting weights actually is, uh, you know, with bodybuilding.com when I went to the website, I, you know, I picked up the workouts and everything. That's when I started lifting weights after college. I took lifting seriously. So, and I started competing in shows and stuff. So, and I had a coach too. My coach's name is Brandon Falcon. So I kind of, you know, I kind of tend to uh, get into lifting weights more. And then, I mean, I'm Nigerian, so it's easy for me to get stronger. So, you know, I got that, uh, the real genes. So that kind of helps me out as well. So, yeah. Um, you have a question from YouTube. What's your favorite Travis Scott song? Oh, uh, Bees in the Trap. <laughs> bees in the Trap. Yeah, Bees in the Trap. <laughs> That's it. I actually, I listened to that before I, even, before I started working out. I was locked in. That was good. That's my favorite one, yeah. And also Butterfly Effect. Butterfly Effect, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so now let me get to the third, uh, to, to the third set. Feeling good. All right, Twitch is wondering if they can get a bicep flex from you. Oh yeah, you got that, you got that. Is that good, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, YouTube is asking, can we train biceps on the same day as back? Yeah, you, you can actually do that, actually, yeah, because um, when you're training back, you know, you're actually pulling, so you can do triceps when you, when you try, you, know, you can do biceps because you're pulling. So your push days are like chest and shoulders, you can do tries, so you can do tries on your push days, but in your pull days you can do buys. So that's good because when you do them back, you're activating your secondary muscles, which is your biceps. How many days a week do you train deadlifts? Deadlifts, I deadlift twice a week. Okay, I have a day for a heavy deadlift, and that's my back days, and also I do the stiff deadlifts on my glutes and hamstring day. So twice, or twice a week. Yeah. Do you incorporate rack pulls into your training? Yeah, I do rack pulls also. I do rack pulls every other week because that actually helps you build the, the midsection back, the bigger, wider midsection back. So I'll, that's a good exercise for a back day as well. Oh, yeah. Um, YouTube is asking what your favorite rep range is. Rep range, usually 4 by 12, which is four sets of 12 reps, which I'll be doing today, showing you guys when I get to the next workouts. I'll be doing that today. Yeah. 
Um, Fernando from Facebook says, I get injured every time I do a deadlift. Am I doing it wrong? Yeah, you probably is doing it wrong because if you feel hurt, you're probably doing it wrong. And that's why when you want to come down, when you're doing deadlifts, make sure you have, make sure you set first, you know. You kind of want to have your feet out first, set first, and then when you come down, before you pick up the weight, make sure you, you know, you, you arch your hips a little bit back. You come down like this. You want to come down like this. You want to have your form ready before you pick up the weight. You don't want to pick up the weight without having your form ready. So that's the key, okay? So work on the form, slowly decrease the weight, and then when the form is right, add more weight and, be, and lift heavy. So guys, I'm gonna take you on to the last set for this deadlifts today. Let's get to it. You guys see when I come up, I, I try to breathe out, but you don't want to breathe all the air out. You want to hold in some air, just a little bit of air. You want to hold in some air as you come up as well. So that kind of helps you activate all the muscles of your core and your glutes as well. So that'll be it for the deadlifts. All right. Do you combine any cardio after lifting? Yeah, I'm a cardio guy. I love cardio. I usually do sprints, intervals, 30 seconds on and off, or I do the Stairmaster for like 20 minutes, or the incline walk for like 30 minutes. So. Yeah. YouTube wants to know what your perfect cheat meal would be. Oh, cheat meal? Actually, cheat meal is I go ham. Be real with y'all. You know, my coach tell me just get a burger and fries sometimes. Man, I get a burger and fries. I get froyo. I get sushi. You know, I get some chocolate too. I like, I like M&Ms. I get, uh, what else? Um, oh, I love donuts. Those gourmet donuts as well. I go ham on cheat meal. <laughs> yeah. Um, Facebook wants to know which muscle should feel fatigued after deadlifts? Uh, the only muscle that should feel fatigued after deadlifts would probably be your lower back. And that's it. That's the only muscle that should feel fatigued after, your, after deadlifts. Yeah. All right. Twitch wants to know, do you have a girlfriend? Actually, nah. I'm single. No girl. I mean, I'm open to suggestions, but you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> hey, I'm 25 and single, so, you know, holler at me. Kenny the Gates. But yeah. <laughs> um, what are the best supplements for beginners? Um, for beginners, uh, usually when I was a beginner as well. When I was a beginner, I went to bodybuilding.com because bodybuilding.com is, the, I feel like they, they, they're the only market or company out there that has a lot of information for a beginner, okay? So best supplements for a beginner, usually I, I you know, like Dermatize. Or the, you know, Dermatize is good. The gold standard of human nutrition is good as well. And you know, that's, that's, that's what I've taken since then, and I still stick with that. So for my, for my pre-workouts and my um, protein, I just stick with Dermatize. Awesome. So, so guys, for the next workout, I'm going to take you guys to do a, 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 a reverse or behind the neck pull downs. And before I start this workout, now I'm going to let you all know, I know some of you guys think you know, it's, it's a bad workout. It kinda, it kinda, it's, not, it's not good for you. But it's, I believe in when you, when you work out the right way, slowly and control movement, OK? With good mobility, you're going to be all right. And then when you work it out, if you feel a pain, just stop doing it if you feel a pain, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and get to it right now. So I'm doing four sets of 12 reps on this. And then before I start this, watch me. When I do this, I have my, I have my, my arms all the way right here, OK? And, and when you come down, you want to pause for like two seconds and slowly come back up. Slowly, slow and control movement. Right. So you see, as I come down, you kind of want to hold it, pause for like two seconds, and slowly negative, go back up. All right. And don't try not to go too heavy on the behind the neck. Okay. And that's how you don't get hurt. Just lift, you know, the right way. You're gonna be all right. It's not bad. It's good for your. It's good for your lats. Uh, YouTube wants to know: Do you train calisthenics? Calisthenics? 
Yeah, I do that. I do calisthenics workout uh, like once a week. Yeah, it's fun. And I also do yoga. I do, I do those because I feel like, to me, it helps build my endurance. I do it for endurance. That's why I do it. So I love it. It's a good workout. How much water do you drink during the day? During the day, usually I average, I average two gallons. And the reason I average two gallons is because every morning I do fast tech cardio because fast tech cardio helps me drink a lot of water throughout the day. But realistically, sometimes, because I don't fast tech cardio every day. So the days I don't fast tech cardio, I do a gallon. The goal is a gallon a day. Try to stick to a gallon a day, you'll be all right. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, so now I'm going to take you guys to the second set of this. So basically, I'm going to go up a little bit, but still maintain the form. Second set. Oh, this feels good. Travis from Facebook wants to know, when you deadlift, do you keep the same grip each time or do you flip your hand position each time? I keep the same grip. I love deadlifting with this grip, you know? And, uh, you know, most people like the you know, reverse grip or whichever grip they like, but I, I use the same grip the whole time throughout deadlift. Question from YouTube. What advice would you give to someone trying to get started in the fitness industry? If you, okay. To get started in the fitness industry, I would, I would, I would advise you to, uh, to, first of all, you know, first of all, know what your goals are. If you have a goal, short-term, long-term goals, and that's good. And if you're trying to work out and you don't have a, you don't really know how to get a trainer or, you know, go to bodybuilding.com. They have all the tips you, all, all the tips that you need to get started on their website. And uh, you know, just find someone that find someone that inspires you and just follow them, and keep working hard, man. That's it. Just work hard. You'll be all right. Yeah. I think they want to see you do 650 today. They were like, he's only doing 405. Hey, more plates, I'm going to do it. I'm ready. I stay ready. So I'm good. If y'all want it, I'm going to show it to y'all. All right. Whenever you're ready. I got my chalk too. So I got my chalk right here. So you guys are ready. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. How do I know if back exercises are really working? I never get sore. Uh, that's the thing. So for you to know that, it, that any exercise, not even back, that it's, that's working, you have to feel the stretch. That's why you see when I work out, I try to hold it for at least a second or two. Squeeze it, feel the stretch, and slowly go back up. So if you're not feeling it, if you're not feeling the stretch, or if you're not feeling the, the muscle that you're working on during, during that exercise, you're doing it wrong. So basically, you're doing it wrong. So get the right form and then, you know, take your time. Go lighter, get it right. Nige from Facebook says, keep up the good work. Appreciate it, brother. Love <laughs> you, man. Much love. <sighs> all right, so I'm going to take you all now to the second set. No, third set. That's the third set. That's the third set. I'm going to try to add more sets to what I already got. All right, Abby from Facebook is wondering what your body fat percentage is. Uh, right now, last time I checked, I think it was six uh, percent. Yeah, because I mean, I'm off season right now. I just got to cut down on the cardio. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Travis wants to know how much do you weigh? 
Oh, Travis, 172, actually. I don't weigh that much, man. People think I weigh a lot, but I really don't. I'm just strong. As, I'm just strong, that's all. But I don't weigh that much, but 172 right now. Yeah. Um, how did you and Christian Guzman meet? <laughs> oh, well, me and Christian met uh, in Houston. Because uh, uh, back then, high school, everything, my friend Charlie, Russell, we all Nigerians, and... You know, we went to high school together, and then after that, athlete, I was busy in college, so athlete happened, and Christian, Christian, you know, of course, left college to pursue his uh, dreams in, you know, in creating his apparel, you know, but after college, we all kind of got together and did our thing, you know? He's a great guy, man. Love you, Christian, man. Um, how long do you do your fasted cardio for? 30 minutes. I do 30 minutes incline walk or the 30 minutes stair master. That's all I need. I'm good with that. 30 minutes every day. Well, cool. YouTube wants to know how many calories do you eat in a day? I eat 2,500 when I'm cutting, but a day, 3,000 calories. 3,000 for sure. Yeah. All right, so take you guys to the last set of this behind the neck lap pull downs. Do you think you will ever try a powerlifting meet? Oh, guys, actually, uh, I have my, my friend. I don't know if you know who Russell O'Hare is. Uh, he actually training me with the deadlifts, the squats, and the bench. And I'm actually thinking about doing a meet next year. So I got to do it, man. I got to do it. I've been getting so much talks about it, like you got to do it. So I'm going to do one next year for y'all. I got to switch it up. Yeah. Awesome. James from Facebook wants, or. Michael from Facebook wants to know, when counting calories, do you include the calories from cooking oils into your totals? I do. I do. I, I track everything, you know, because I feel like the only way to have the balance that you want in your life is that you have to track everything. The oil, I use oil, olive oil on everything I do, so on everything I eat pretty much, but I track everything, so yeah. Joey Gonzalez from Facebook wants to know, how long do you take breaks in between each set? Usually a minute. I'm a, you know, I have good endurance, so I try not to rest too much. You know, once I'm, once I'm, once I'm going, I just want to stay going. So. YouTube yeah. wants to know, do you have a max for your bench or squats? Yeah, squats max. Squats is 525. Bench, uh, bench max rep is 345. So far. Yeah. So, guys, for the next workout, I'll be taking, it's, it's going to be the kneeling reverse grip. And for this workout... Move this a little bit for you guys so you guys can see me do this. All right. So for this workout, I'm going to use the, uh, the, the easy bar right here. So go up in the weight a little bit. So when you get in my knees, so just to show you guys the right form. So when I come down, you want to keep your elbows in. Keep your elbows in. So when you come down, you stop here, you squeeze. You go back up. Always control the movement, always. All right, also just a little tip. When you're doing this and you come down and you squeeze, if, you're not, if you don't feel it in your lats, you're doing it wrong. Okay, just stop. All right, so yeah. What are your long-term goals in fitness and how long have you been lifting? I've been lifting for like four, four or five years, 
my long-term goals is just keep inspiring people and just keep, you know, building my body the way I want to build my body. And I just feel like, you know, I just want to have balance in my life. Hopefully one day I have a girl, then family. You got to have a girlfriend for all that stuff. Family and kids and just build my body the way I want and also inspire others by doing it. So just living a healthy lifestyle. That's my long-term goal. Yeah. Twitch is wondering, is it normal not to see any big physique changes over one year of bodybuilding? They started a year ago, or am I doing something wrong? I know it takes time. It does take time, guys. I mean, sometimes, yes, it takes a year. You might not see any results. Everyone has different bodies, so it just takes time. And, you know, you got to be patient with your body as well. But as long as you're doing the stuff that you're supposed to be doing, just give it time. It's going to come. Not everyone has genetics to be or look, you know, look whatever, whichever way they want to look, you know. You know, people, they don't see results, and they, do it nat they, they try to go and do it unnaturally, but just be patient with yourself and be natural. You'll be all right, man. Just keep working hard. Um, can we see a back pose? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Back pose for sure. <sighs> Is that good? Yes. All right, all right. Um, let's see. Do you have any tips for hard gainers? For? Hard gainers. Hard gainers. I mean, I know, yeah, I mean, if it's hard for you to gain weight, so my tip, my tip would be just eat a little more. And if you go to bodybuilding.com, they do sell some of the weight gainers and stuff. Just, you know, back then when I was trying to gain weight, I was, taking, I was drinking one of those weight gainers before I go to bed. So that helped me gain weight. So that's what I did. So think about it. Um, James wants to know, how many days of the week do you work out? Which muscle groups? I work out six days a week. And I work out my legs twice a week because I separate my legs, quads and hamstrings. I have a back day once a week. And I have, a, I have you know, shoulders, my arms day, abs three times a week. And then one day, which is Saturday, I uh, do like more calisthenics workouts, more high intensity workout. But, some, but my rest days, I always do hot yoga. I like doing hot yoga, so that's my thing. Yeah. Do you like taking BCAs? Yeah, I, yeah, I do take BCAs. Actually, I have, I have, uh, I have the, you know, if you guys know the extend BCAAs, I love those. I have those right here, actually. Yeah, yeah, I do take BCAAs. I just, mm -hmm. I'm just feeling my workout right now, so I'm just, just going. <laughs> but I do take BCAAs. Harris yeah. from Facebook is wondering, does weightlifting burn tummy fat or is cardio necessary? Cardio is necessary, but be honest with you, if you want to burn tummy fat, weightlifting, weightlifting is the way to go. Because when you lift weights, your body takes fats from, you know, from, from everywhere. So just doing cardio is not going to help you burn body fat. You have to lift weights and do cardio. Both. That's what helps you get it done. All right? So I'm going to take you all to the second set of this reverse grip. Kneeling lap pull downs. Add some more weight on this bad boy. All right. Um, YouTube wants to know what exercises would you recommend for improving grip strength in the deadlift? I find mine fails after two sets. Uh, grip strength uh, for deadlift? Me, personally, I usually do the reverse, the reverse uh, bicep thing, curve, the rear bicep curves. I do the reverse one. It helps your grip. Basically, you, we, we worry about your wrist more, so it helps your grip. And also, when I deadlift, just so you guys know, I, I deadlift this way because it just actually, doing it my whole life, it helped my grip. It really did. So, just keep working on those, you're going to be all right. Uh, Harris commented again from Facebook saying, you're awesome, man. Thanks for, er, thanks for giving this opportunity to ask things. Great job. Uh, thanks, Harris. Much love. That's good. Um, YouTube also wants to know, which exercises do you recommend for lower back other than deadlifts? Lower back, um, of course, I'm going to show you guys later today, uh, the bend over rows. And also for your lower back, you can also do the, um, the hyper extensions. Those are really good. Those are really good. You can do weighted or non weighted. Those are really good. Yeah. Um, would the previous workout work standing up as well? Um, 
Yes, it will, but you're not gonna get the full contraction that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on, get on to my third set just to show you guys. So the full contraction that you need is kneeling down gives you that full stretch up, and then when you come down, you squeeze. But when you stand up, you don't get the full contraction, so that's why kneeling is good for this workout. All right, Tina wants to know, how do you maintain your good looks while you lift? Well, just, uh, <laughs> you mean why I lift? Oh man, uh, <laughs> that's a hard one. But while I lift, you know, <laughs> it's easy to maintain. Just keep, just keep, don't rest too much. That way you just keep your pump, that's all. Just, I try not to rest a lot, just, just keep going. And lift heavy, lifting heavy works. Just lift, keep lifting heavy. Just have you stay pumped and look good. That's what I do. <laughs> Where can people find you on social media? Yes, Instagram Kennedy Gates, Facebook Kennedy Gates, Snapchat Kennedy Gates 0621, um, Twitter Kennedy Gates. I got them all. Kennedy Gates for everything and everything and everything and everything. So, awesome. yeah. So, I'm going to go on and uh, do the last set of this real quick for you guys. All right guys, so when doing this exercise, don't worry about going too heavy, just worry about getting the right squeeze, so, yeah. Patrick asks, you said you lift six days a week. Can we find your full workout routine anywhere? Do you post it on social media? Yeah, I post it on social media. Um, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I do post it on Instagram story before I lift. And also, I have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, don't forget about YouTube, Kennedy Gates. Yeah, Kennedy Gates on YouTube, yeah. And uh, yeah, I do social media channels, and yeah, I do, I always. What workout can be done to improve mass on legs? On legs? So to improve mass on legs is, uh, for me, I've always done a lot of squats, back, you know, back squats and deadlifts, and a lot of leg press. So I do the compact movements. That's why I separate my legs. To grow mass on your legs, you have to separate the workouts. You have a quad day, so you can kill it, go heavy, and hamstrings go heavy. You can only go heavy on legs if you want your legs to grow. You gotta go heavy. YouTube wants to know, do you play any musical instruments or anything in the music spectrum? <laughs> I play the piano. Actually, uh, I love it, Sharon. Sam Smith is good as well. So, piano. That's what I do. Yeah. All right, guys. So, next workout will be the, the incline bench barbell rows. I'm going to go ahead and put my shoes on for, for this. Right, so, so for this workout, I'm gonna show you guys before I get on here. So basically, I'm gonna put my feet on the incline bench and then keep my chin up. While I, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the plates while I come up. I'm, I'm not gonna hold the, hold the easy bar. I hold the plates as I come up, okay? So, show you guys. And uh, the reason I do this workout is just because it, it, it builds that mid upper back really good. And we can have the, the white, whiteness that you need, the thickness that you need in your mid back. YouTube asks, do you focus more on strength or hyper, 
uh, hypertrophy in your programming? <laughs> I do strength. Focus more on strength, being honest with you guys, because uh, I just want to be, just want to, want to, want to get stronger. You know, I did a lot of hypertrophy workouts when I was in college. That's all we did. And uh, since after college, I try to focus more on strength because I want to get stronger. So, yeah. What is your best, most aesthetic muscle? Ooh. Actually, you know what? I think it's my back. I mean, I won't say my ass. Abs, abs is not bad, but I think it's my back. My back. Yeah. <laughs> Show my flex again on your back. Another flex? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. So second set, guys. Same thing. I'm going to go ahead and incline this a little bit more. Let's do this. go. Woo. Now I'm feeling this. All right. All right. Jason from Facebook wants to know, can you do a handstand? <laughs> I can do it, but I got to lean on the wall. I can't do it without lean on the wall. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do you stay lean so much? Or how do you stay so lean? Do you cal calculate macros every single day? Yeah, I do count macros. Okay. Just so you know, off season, I go, I, I go, I go a little bit above my macros, but I count the whole day. And if I go above, I still count. So count everything, that's the key, and do cardio. Um, from Facebook, for people who have busy lives, can you gain serious muscle doing full body workouts? Um, you can, but you gotta be smart. That's why if you're busy, you gotta, be, you gotta have a pool day, a push day, and a leg day. So just split that out, you know, you'll be fine. You could definitely do that. Just push, pull, and legs day. And go heavy. That's it. You'll be fine. Um, YouTube wants to know, is it bad to do heavy squats and then heavy deadlift the next day? The next day, it's not bad. It's not bad because you can do heavy squats and heavy deadlifts the same day. Just make sure your form is good. If your form is good and your core is tight throughout the whole process, you have no injuries. You can, just, you can squat every day. People think squatting every day is bad for you, but it's not bad for you. Because if you have the right form, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. When I was in college, we squat every day, so yeah, <laughs> that's right. What do you like to do for your chest workouts? Chest workouts, I do a lot of uh, flat bench, but I love doing the incline. I use dumbbells, dumbbells more than the, more than the uh, barbells. I love dumbbells because I can go heavy on dumbbells. And then my range of motion is really perfect on the dumbbells. So. Yeah. All right, Steve Dilk says, your neck is fine. Hey, what's up, Steve? Love you, bro. <laughs> thanks, bro, thanks. I'm trying to grow my neck more. Got to grow more. <laughs> yeah, all right, guys, so third set, let's get to it. William from Facebook says, I don't have a hack squat at my gym. Can I, what can I do to train on this instead? So what you do is, you know, if you have a spit, a spit, a spit machine, you, or you can, do, you, you can even use a free, free uh, squat machine. So what you do is, for the hack squat, the goal of the hack squat is to build your quads, okay? So just have your feet together. And then, squat, and then put like a little dumbbell, a small, like a, a, small, um, a small plate underneath your heel. That way you can arch forward when you do the squats, and when you come down, slowly come down, and then all the way down, and then come back up. Same thing, man, same thing. I'm not gonna focusing on your quads, 
It's all good. Yeah. Evelyn from Facebook says, what is your favorite muscle group to work out? Back. I love back, Evelyn. That's why I'm doing it today. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wait for this day to come so I could show off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, YouTube wants to know, what's your favorite TV show? Ooh. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Hey, Stranger, 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 Things, Stranger Things is fire, but I'm torn in between the two, but Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys. Last set. Let's do this. Go. All right. Next workout for you guys will be the uh, the pendulum row. Okay, so I need to take uh, take the weights off this bar real quick for you guys. If I do that, I'm gonna do that with two plates, two twenty five on the two plates on each side. All right, you have another question from Facebook here. Who is your bodybuilding muscle hero? It's about bodybuilding hero? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold. Arnold is the man. <laughs> That's my hero right there. Um, which workout do you hate the most? Ooh. Um, <laughs> well, the workout I hate the most is uh, the Arnold press for shoulders. Yeah, <laughs> those hurt. <laughs> they hurt bad. <laughs> yeah. What exercises would you recommend for developing back definition? So back definition, I would recommend that you actually do more machines, machine-based workouts. So that's why I split it up where I have the barbells and then also I do the machines as well on my back days. So the machine gives you better contraction and I think your form is actually, if you're a beginner, machines are better because of your form. You can, you can be able to control your form better and your mobility is also good as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with the first set of this workout. So when I do this pendulets bend over row, you know, the regular bend over row is, is just like this, but the pendulets, I'm like this. So let me show you guys. There you go. Do you like the pendule row more than conventional and why? Um, I like the pendulets more because uh, since I've been doing it, you know, it just helped me build that the lower back, the thickness, and it's much wider. Yeah, because I feel like doing the regular, conventional, of course, bend over rows, it just focuses more on my lower back more than my mid. I need my mid to grow more, so, you know, whatever your goal is, I'll just switch up to whatever is going to help you get there. Yeah. Is the pendule more advanced? Yes, it's advanced. Because uh, it's more of like a, 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 positive, a, a positive movement where you just like, boom, and you drop it. It's like a positive movement, so it's good. It's good. YouTube wants to know, do you recommend a high protein meal in the morning? Eh, most definitely, for sure. High protein, my breakfast in the morning is usually egg whites and oatmeal. But high protein in the morning is always good. It's always good. Who is your favorite superhero? Ooh. Man, okay, <laughs> Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man. Advance, or uh, do you have any advice for getting better mind-muscle connection? Yeah, I mean, better mind-muscle connection is all about, you know, just 
just you know, focusing on, and sometimes it's hard to get into the gym, just try to, try to focus on your goals and remind yourself why you started this whole fitness thing. Because you keep reminding yourself why you beat your body and then you're good, man. You're good. Just keep doing that. Yeah. All right, for the second set, let's get to it. Bodybuilding popular in the Nigerian culture? Yeah, it is. I mean, because I lived there six months when I went back home for school a little bit, and it's big over there because that's all we that's all we knew back there. Like bodybuilding.com, you know, you just go to the website, get your supplements, get everything you need, and you got bodybuilding.com ships pretty much most mostly every country. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy. So and you get knowledge when it comes to fitness because people people back home in Nigeria they train they train too. They swole too, so yeah, they don't get there by just knowing nothing, you know, so yeah. All right, so take you guys to the third set. Let's go. How are you feeling after this workout? Feeling good. Feeling more pumped. Feeling alive right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, what's it like being at HQ? Oh my God, it's amazing being over here. So when I came here, I knew it was this big. It was amazing. I kind of cried a little bit. In the bathroom, though, in the bathroom, not in front of people, so. But yeah, I, it, was, it was amazing, you know. Everyone here is amazing. We all live the same lifestyle, and me and everybody here is just amazing. I'm just happy to be here. I mean, I'm lucky to be here, so I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, where are you originally from? Um, we mean where I was born? Yes. Yeah. I was born in uh, East Lansing, Michigan. East Lansing, Michigan, and my parents do travel a lot because... You know, they were engineers, so moved around a lot. And then uh, Houston, Texas. Now, I live in Indiana now, so yeah. All right, so let me take you guys through the last set of this workout. Good. Whew. Yeah. For pull-ups, do you prefer wider grip or closed or neutral? I prefer wider grips. And talking about pull-ups, that's my last workout because whenever I do back, I finish up with pull-ups. So, yes, I usually do three sets to failure until, you know, and then that's what I usually do. All right, guys. So, final exercise. Let's get to these pull-ups. Prefer wide grip. I squeeze for a second. That's right. Um. Charles says, thanks for the advice. I've never heard of a Pendele row before. That's, dang, that's good. Try it out. When you do, tag me. I'll give you a shout out, man. Do you need a belt when working out your back? Yeah. Usually I wear a belt, you know, but I feel like a belt is necessary when you actually try to go too, too heavy. You know what I mean? Because, you know, 
If I don't need it, I don't need it. I don't have to put it on if I don't need it. So I love wearing belts, but you know, if I could do it without a belt, trust me, I would, I would be glad to do it without a belt. So yeah. A uh, comment from Facebook. This is the coolest thing ever. I've never seen this before with a Q&A on the spot is great. Thanks for the motivation and tips. Love you. Thank you. That's what we're here for. Love that. So second set, push-ups to your failure. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Justin wants to know what's your typical rep range? Rep range typical is eight to 12 reps. Eight to 12 reps, Justin. Thank you for asking that. What's the most pull-ups you've ever done at once? At once, fresh, just walked in the gym, uh, 50, 50 pull-ups. If I'm fresh and I just walked into the gym, I could do 50, nonstop. I can go all day. But I gotta be fresh though, because after all these workouts, yeah, I can't really do that 50 though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you do a muscle up? Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, what's that, what's that, what's definitely. Y'all wanna see it now? I'll do it now, yeah. That's it, feel good? All right, all right. It's <laughs> awesome. All right, let me do this last set for you guys and I can ask some more questions you guys have, okay? All right, let's go. Yeah, whew, it's a great workout. All right. All right, we're gonna do one last question. You got it. Gotta find a good one. <laughs> Let's do this. Mm. What are you finding, sorry. Guys, be sure to try this back workout. It's a great workout. Be sure to try it, and, uh, and also, don't forget, Friday, the winner of the Bodybuilding 2018 Spokesmodel Search is gonna be announced. Please don't forget to, be, to watch us live as, we, as Bodybuilding.com announces the, the winner of the 2018 Bodybuilding Spokesmodel Search, finalists. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in today. I appreciate all the love. And uh, you know, don't forget, follow me on this, uh, social media, Kennedy Gates everywhere. Love you guys. I'm excited to be here, excited about everyone that's here, and uh, don't forget, always be yourself, be happy, find the, find the balance in your life. Thank you.